before you guys ask, it's soda, and I'm going to be filling this up with water soon afterwards. All right. All right, this is a public server, so if any of you guys want to join, you are more than welcome. Hello. <laughs> Murder triple nine. What's up? Murder triple nine. Shout out to you, sir. Hope you get a new microphone. <laughs> okay, let me just. Te All right. First off, I need to become God for just one second on Stormworks because I need to uh, fix the weather and the time because clearly I don't think I could do. You guys can see very much apart from my own reflection. Yes. Hold on one minute. Let me do this. And there we go. It's not going to be much, but it's better. All right. Hab it up. Hab it up. Hab it up. Hab it up. it up. There we go. Whoa. Okay, buddy, you got a bit of a lean going on there. Oh, average. Stormworks Gamer, welcome to the stream, you two. I haven't seen you guys. I'm glad to see some new faces. Welcome to the channel. Here I do a uh, bit of gaming like this. This is my current set. This is kind of like my only setup, so I'm sorry about that. This computer just cannot handle any recording software I have. Um, Hang on. Oh, well, that's true. Wait, average, did you say you made a server? Man, why why is the chat not showing? This is driving me nuts. Oh, it's probably let me turn off battery saver. That might be why. There we go. Alright, so I've got a ship here at Dock. It's kind of a bit of a leaner by the looks of things. But I just I found it on the workshop just today, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh the server is not pass does not have a password, so if you Guys who are on here with the stream would like to join it. You are more than welcome to. I just think you need to, uh, I think you actually have to send me a friend request or something. But my name on Steam is the same as it is on YouTube. So I think you guys should be okay. Um, I'm probably going to move this out a bit. So, actually, hold on. Do I, can I launch these boats? Because I, I, I seriously doubt we'll need them. We got, right? Like, I, got, I really don't think we'll need these. I mean, come on. I'm sure I'm sure we'll be just fine. It's not like there's going to be some kind of thing coming on that's going to just, like, cause us any problems, right? There we go. I see you, Murdiff. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the ship. Also, you three... Oh, my God. Wow. That... That's detailed right there. That, all right, yeah, yeah, that's detailed. That's detailed, all right. I like this. I like this. I'm tempted to, to the creator. I have a plenty of ships that could use this type of decking. Could I please borrow this? Please, I beg you. Ah, oh, yes, welcome aboard, my dear. Mr. F Connor, my friend, my God, Connor, where have you been? I haven't seen you in forever. Welcome back to the channel after like two or three years. A notorious fruit. Welcome to the stream. <sighs> okay, Murdiff, I'm gonna X this off because I don't 
Well, that distracted me. All right. All right. Let me see here. Okay, so we have, like, I guess a little lounge area? Question mark? Probably. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder. Oh, yeah, I've heard there was a thing where you could put your fo actual photos in, like, a generator. I don't know how to do that, and I don't know if I could get any mods that would do it for me. That is neat, though, how some people are able to do that. That's actually pretty remarkable. Alright, so what do we have forward of this? Alright, so, um... Okay, we have a bedroom, but why is it the tiling you'd see in a kitchen? I don't know. Was this supposed to be like a kitchen at one point and this be a dining room? I really don't know. I actually really don't know. All right, so I'm actually going to go get the ship out of dock real quick. That way we'll be out in open water and it won't lag. In short, that so I can continue the tour without it lagging really bad. Murdiff, if you want to start the ship up, you can. Ah, okay. Ow. Sorry, y'all. I'm... Ugh. What the? Oh, we have the control board here. What's this? Oh, that's autopilot. Oh, co oh I forgot this is a steamship. Exterior lights. Oh, God. Turn those off. Turn those off. Lights. Don't know what lights those were. Hull damage. That's interesting. We're underway, boys. Are you sure it says? Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe later. Not now. Maybe later. Thank you for taking over, Murder. If I'll take it from here. Oh, we got one more button. What's this? The horn of it? Let's see. I felt as much. So we have a speedometer. We're going... At about six knots. All right. So we have what looks to be like a sort of replica skylight. And we've got a funnel... Got some visitors. We've got a ladder that goes up. If you wanted to go up on top of the bridge, don't know why you'd want to do that, but I'm gonna guess just why. So what's this? Spotlights. Oh. So there was a flare. Let me hang on. Let me change that tonight. I know they added those. I wanted to see how those work. There we go. That's. Whoa. That can't just be from that flare. That's impressive. To be fair, though, it would be perfect because... Oh, and over here we have a compass, which does not seem to be working, I don't think. That's actually pretty dang impressive now that I'm looking at the flares. Wow. I like the color of the scheme of the funnel, though, the yellow, blue, and green. That's actually pretty, and I like the... Oh, that's actually really nice. Um, just anywhere, Murd Murdith, if you want to take it, like, wherever you can. I like that flare. Oh, wait a minute. Murdith, there should be a button that just says lights. Check those real quick. I think that's, like, spotlights or something. All right, so we've got the boat deck here. We've got two lifeboats. Got more skylights here. Oh, we've got all this. That's going to be interesting. And we have, uh, what's this? A... Oh, that's a towing winch? Is that like a towing winch? I really don't know. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, Notorious Fruit, by the way. I've, I don't know if you're still in the stream or not, but look at my video. My combined video of that Union Pacific train chase. One of the trains that that cold train met had a full Cal BC rail unit in full paint. And I think, I can't remember, two or three units in front of it before Union Pacific engine led all of them. That's the first and only British rail... Not British rail. Listen to me talk. Are we in England? Are we in bloody England? No. That was the first BC rail 
diesel I've ever seen. Kevin Joyner, welcome to the stream. Big Boy 4014, welcome to the stream. Right, let me just... Ah, God! Murdiff, turn the exterior lights off! I'm lagging! Turn them off! Turn them off! Please! I beg you! Turn them off! Murdiff, I blame you for this! Thank you. Oh my God, I can't... My computer cannot handle this. It loses brain cells every time. Oh, so we have a hospital? Okay. Okay, so we've got all of these. We've got cargo here. What's this do? Oh, more lights. Okay. It's all right. Oh, we got... So we have a rather expensive hospital bay. Oh, what's this? is rather expansive. Could have put a bit more detail in, no offense, but that's just me. Oh, we have a stove. Hold on, I take that back. Alright, we got some stove eyes here, but he should have put a button off to the side for the oven, because you know you've got the oven coils that heat up, too. Oh, that's an issue. Oh, we have a medical storage cabinet here, that's nice. We should have had this person help Jesse and I design the HMHS Spammels as far as the medical equipment's concerned. All right. All right, yes. First off, that's pretty. Sailing ship. We got a sailing ship behind a clouded sunset sunrise. We've got these pretty lights here. We've got a rather fancy table and chairs. We've got a hole in the wall. I'm not going to question that. It's probably just to keep... I don't know, it's probably just from rats. <laughs> oh, we have a lavatory. Well then. That's this part of the ship. So let's check out forward, shall we? Wild night, buddy. Look behind my computer there. It's daytime. Oh, you want wild nights? I don't think you want wild nights, my friend. You know me. I can get... 4014, I'm pretty sure you know what to expect when I do wild nights. <sighs> but overall, this is actually a fairly decent ship. I don't know if it's... I'm not going to say it's the best one I've seen. I'm just going to be bluntly honest here, but eh, it's good. So there's not really mu that much wrong with it. Okay, well, I say that. And there's just beds, random beds here. What, there's no cabins? I could build walls in this and make cabins. Oh, well, what the heck. I'm a purist. I'll take it. Well, actually, they're on rat. They're on little stools. I'm fine. I don't like it if they're just placed all over the place. That ticks me off. So what do we have in here? Oh, anchor controls. Okay. Okay. I like this. Uh, I don't know if it is a medic show, but that is a good question. Right. Now that we've seen this, let's get some weather going. Yeah, I'm just going to become a uh, god for just one minute and make our lives miserable. Habitat. 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 More megs, damn it. Excuse my language. Part of my language, but I mean, for this, that's pretty appropriate because when they strike, they do make you want to say that in more ways than one. Excuse me, sorry. Alright, so we got some serious weather going on here. I'm pretty sure that's totally normal. Oh, we've got some vents here. Let me go into photo mode. They just go straight down. One thing I want to find real quick is the ship's engine room. Oh, no, they, just, they don't go anywhere. But then again, I can see why the ship would probably sink. Oh! I broke the game. <laughs> So I found the sink mech. It's right there. 
got a heck of a lean going. Oh my god. All right. Why is this ship floating? There's a million bulkheads that are intact. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, there's the engines. Okay. There's so much space, though, that it could have used. That's just me. I mean, this is me talking. If I wanted to, and if I had enough time, I could have built a uh, whole other area here. Probably like cabins for crew or something. That's just me. What do you mean it's gone space balls? I don't get it, 4014, unless you mean I've gone into plaid. I'm lagging like a trucker. I gotta get to the bridge. Murdy was like the whole ship's underwater. I wonder why. I don't know what's worse. The fact the bridge doesn't have a door on it or the fact that we're in really bad weather, which... What was that? Murdith! What was that? Uh-oh. Well, I don't think we're going to be needing the sink mag anymore. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think we'll have to worry about the mag... The, uh... I want there to at least be, like, insanity real quick, if that's okay. There we go. That should be enough. That should be just what the doctor ordered. Well, we made some considerable headway. I'm impressed. R slash, the thing that's worse is all of the above. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sweet mother of Jesus. Oh, for real. I've got to check the gauges thing, whatever they are. I'll let you handle the mags, Meredith. Go into a zigzag course. I'm going down to check the breakers. No doubt, quite a few of them have been jarred up from the impact. Yes, and my accent's terrible. Don't deal. Don't judge me. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. I guarantee you, it's fine. Murdoch, hit the engine again. The breakers went up. Murdoch, try and restart the engines and everything. Quick. Yeah, literally everything just went full on glitch mode thanks to the megalodons hitting it. They knocked out the breakers. Can't even tell. Are we even moving?
Oh! That's not good. I can tell we've got a bit of an issue. We've got hull damage. I better go into photo mode and check for flooding. Oh, well, I found the propellers, so we're moving. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Actually, no, we're not. We've got... Oh! Yeah, that's an issue. Okay, here's the points. There's that. Well, this isn't an issue, as Jesse would say. I can tell they've caused damage. We have hull damage in the medic room. And we're listing heavily. I wonder why. I'm guessing the wave is here. <gasps> Mate, I don't think turning is going to do anything. We're screwed either way. I'm actually pretty surprised the ship has held on for as long as it has. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know. I see there's only two people left in the stream. How many people are still here, though? Let me know. Oh! Yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> oops, oops. Oh, it just sputters and dies. All right, Gavin. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, God, we're going to die. Oh, Jesus, we're capsizing. Okay. Yeah, no, no, this is fine. This is totally normal. This is perfectly fine. Oh, no, this is... Nah, nah, this is totally fine. Quick, disengage the scuttle. Gotta disengage the scuttle, because technically... I kind of want the ship to capsize and sink that way. It's, more, it's far cooler. Hi, we're kind of dying at the moment. As you can see, by the ship flying through the air and us going all over the place. Ah, zero G's, dang it. No, this is fine. This this is totally fine. It's a feature. No, this is totally fine. This is just something we always do all over here at Jank Shipping. <laughs> oh yes, yes, capsize, capsize. 
<laughs> yes, perfect. This is just what the doctor ordered. Yes, this is just what the doctor ordered. Right, let's get out of here. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. It's time to go, man. Let's go. What? Whoa! Why? Okay. All right. Hey, whoever that is, why don't you just delete whatever you're spawning? Because I was about to do a freaking Poseidon thing. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm bringing the Ed. I wanted to bring the Edison out anyhow. That's fine. <sighs> right. I'm going to despawn this and get something that's a lot less laggy. Sure. What's your server? It's fine. It's fine, Stormworks Gamer. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, it doesn't lag now. It's just depending on the ship. Alright, I gotta spawn the Georgian Flyer. No, I'm just kidding. That's gonna make it really bad. I have uh, an ironclad I wanna check out. Let's see, where did I... Oh, yes! There we go, monitor. It's a version I put in which has a sync mech in it. It's so Now, this guy's... Will this is totally fine. It's a Civil War era ship. I've wanted to look at the monitor for God knows how long. So, for any of you guys who don't know much about the Civil War, this is the Union ironclad that went up against the Confederate ironclad Merrimack, or as it was known, Virginia. And, uh... I know when the Union Army went to capture the city that the ironclad Virginia was based in, the Confederates blew it up, if I remember right. And the Monitor, I guess, was sailing to another part of the country and ended up sinking in a storm. I don't exactly remember when, though. I know they raised this actual gun turret, what you're seeing here. They raised this turret right here. This is now in a museum that they're trying to conserve it. Where they're trying to conserve it and other parts of the ship that they put up. And um, basically what they're doing to preserve it is similar to what they're doing to preserve the Hunley. They're treating it in a chemical solution to try and extract all the salt out of the metal. As for the Hunley, I kind of want them to keep it in Charleston where it's at. Because frankly, that submarine is in a spot in that city where everyone knows where it is, so it's fine. Oh. Right then, let's just start this up. On, off. I wonder why. Okay, throttles, let's just put this like that. He could have put in, like, uh, heaters or something. But, oh well. Alright. There we go, so those are out running. Mm -hmm. I like that they got a shovel. Question is, are we even moving? I wasn't exactly sure if we were moving. Oh, dang, okay. Yeah, we're moving at a decent clip, actually. He says that as the monitor just is slowly going away. Yeah, but now that I have this up here, we've got a little propeller thing here. As you can see by that. We've got, if I recall, I think these are exhaust ports or air vents. 
you've got the stack right here, you've got two lifeboats, and you've got the turret, which has this canvas cover if you wanted to climb up here on top. There's two guns. One fires one round, it's pulled back and reloaded while another one comes out and fires. And this can be turned, this whole turret turns. Basically the monitor was the first, I guess you could say, battleship or something. Similar to that, right? Because the only other surviving warship from the 1800s, as far as I know, that shows the evolution that came well after the monitor is the USS Olympia. And that was built in, I think, 1898? I think I could be wrong. I know my friend Jesse went to see it. He has a video of him of it on the channel. Oh yes, here's the bridge. I'm gonna just close that. That way we don't have this suddenly flood like it often does. I know it's an ironclad, but it was technically, it could technically be considered an early. BNSF Kid, Quadruple Seven, welcome to the stream. VRP, welcome back to the stream. Oh, God. Oh, well, congrats on the w wedding. Well, tell the couple I say wish them congratulations, 4014. Uh, Galaxy Railways, I don't know. Unless you can make a train fly, that'd be perfect. Unless you can make a train fly, I'd say go for it. But I don't know if that's even possible. But I know that's not possible and I wouldn't recommend it. So here's one of the cabins. I like that, though. I like that it's slightly detailed. We've got some paper there? Yeah, we got... Oh, that's neat. That's I like that. Yeah, sure, sure, man. I'm sorry. I don't know if I believe you. I'm just kidding. I think that one room that has a single bed is probably the captain's cabin, most likely. Unless this is it. Oh, here's the kitchen. Oh, we've got a... Yeah, yeah. We've got a secret Civil War recipe. I'll show you all in a minute. It's fine. That's a surprise for later. So is this... Oh, yeah. We have this little storeroom here. We have the galley there, we got the storeroom there, we've got the captain's chart table here. We've got the bridge here. I don't think the monitor would have had a horn though, that's just me talking because I, I really don't think it would have had a horn at all. You wouldn't want to give away your position. Right, I'm going to just go and cook us up some grub here. How far out are we, actually? Because if I want to do this, i got to do this here. Eh, close enough. Right, now let's simulate the weather that the monitor dealt with. Habit up. Habit up. There we go. All right, so they got the lights on separate circuits, so I can go and turn these on individually. Nice. Yeah, I had a. Oh, I, I know it would have had a whistle, but. Hey, Murdev, can you turn these lights on down here? They're all on. They all have separate buttons you have to press. Could you go through that real quick while I go take over? As long as the ones in the boilers aren't on, they should be fine. So what you guys are going to be seeing in a second is basically what the monitor had to deal with in a sense because this is actually far more Now imagine this but far worse. I don't know like that.
There we go. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, this was actually meant to fight in, like, shallow waters and, I think, rivers. Here's what would have caused it to sink right here. See how the water's going over the deck? I don't... If I remember right, apparently the turret was not watertight, so the water leaked through, and that's what sank it. And the pumps, of course, just could not handle the rate of flooding that was occurring inside the ship. I mean, look at that. The bridge... The little bridge hatch there is going under every time the ship dips down. Yeah, you can see the guy piloting this thing would not have a lot of headroom. He wouldn't actually be able to see now that I'm looking at this. All right, so I'm just going to go and uh, start cooking. Get some secret recipes going. What you're going to have to do is hit this button. And yeah, uh, there we go. It's Hey! Hey, Murdiv, Soup Song, go get it. <laughs> I'm going to go check the engine room real quick. It should be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. When you're drunk while telling his teaching history, this is what happens. Whoa, whoa. That's not normal. Why is there why is there water? Why why is there water coming through that door? That shouldn't make sense. Why is there water going through that window? That literally makes zero sense to me. I'm dousing the uh, oil lamps, if I'm not mistaken, because they wouldn't have had electric lights on this ship, if I'm not mistaken. It would have been oil lamps or kerosene lamps or whatever they would have used for uh, light at the time. How's the motor dead? Try and restart. Try and restart. There's no way the motor's dead. Try and restart. I'm going to check. There's the ammo, by the way. This is, this is the ship's magazine. Whoa. What? The motor's dead. No wonder. Well, that's your answer as to why it's dead. We're flooding. Come on, come on, start. 
Oh, gee! The boilers are flooding! Well, no BNSF kid, it's the USS Monitor. Oh, somehow the steam engines are working! <laughs> Don't know. Apparently, it's due to the fact that I didn't leave the key on. Because it seems like the boiler is... Yeah, I'm looking. The steam pressure is rising, even though the freaking ship is flooding at this time. Yeah, the magazine's not having a good day. Let's just close this. Let's just close this and see what's happening outside, shall we? Because it seems like it's pretty freaking bad. Oh, yep, yeah, this is really bad. Yeah, this is actually pretty bad. It's pretty freaking bad, actually. I wonder why. Yeah, it's really bad, but I kind of wonder why. Now, let me... I want to see if I can recreate history. There's a drawing that shows the monitor sinking. And I want to see if we could recreate that for just a second. It was at this angle. I don't know if it did it exactly if it sank at the stern, but I've got to try this just for the heck of it. Because I have the engine room sealed off, so technically it'll create that effect. Kind of like that. It was kind of like that, but at a much steeper angle. Kind of like that. Here, hang on. Let me look real quick. I can find the image. Yeah, you'll see my face while I'm looking this up. Let's see. It's probably going to lag, so... Mm hmm Yeah, here we go. I found it. I found the image right here. That's it right there. There's there's quite a few images, and there's actually where they recovered the turret right there. But you can see, there's the turret, and you can see some damage it took from the CSS Virginia right there and there. But you can see that in this picture, they have one gun out. The other one was back in. This is, that's a real picture taken of the boat, by the way. But you can see there's quite a few different illustrations showing the monitor when it sank. There's this one. There's that one. There's this one, which is very dramatic. But it's fairly interesting to see. But to be honest, if it were me, I would have tried to raise the whole ship. Because, I mean, they did it with the Hunley and were able to bury their dead. So why not do it with the Monitor? Because it's not going to take too long for it to become something that they cannot... That it's just simply too fragile for them to recover. Because they raised the Hunley in 2000, I think... Yeah, 2001...
so you can kind of understand what I'm getting at. Let's see, as far as that image you guys just saw, it was looks, or, yeah. It was kind of like this. Kind of like that, right there. Almost like that. So in a sense, I think I just nearly repeated history. Nah, man. How is this? Okay. So, here's something funny. The ship is still running, and the boilers are completely underwater. This makes no... It has all kinds of... There, this is all kinds of unrealistic logic. Oh, the steam pressure is at 400%, so I guess I can cut the boilers. Ah, so when you turn the engines off, it slowly loses steam pressure. Huh. That explains it. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's an issue. Well, down to go. <laughs> Whoa, where the hell am I? Yeah, I'm just going to close that. Yeah, what I basically did was I took this mo the model and put a sync mechanism into it. That's pretty much it. Not that it would matter now because technically we're already screwed. I could turn that off now and let the ocean flood in through the turret if I wanted. But I decided to do the engine room to get the stern sinking. Well, the ammunition's useless now. Yeah, you can see all the ammunition lying going about. <laughs> so wait, does this thing have like a working elevator? Uh, quick, seal the turret, seal the turret! <laughs> That's an issue. How are we still moving? I turned the engines off. Oh, I bet it's the throttle. Let's see. Oh, yes, yeah, so it has... Oh, I thought it had some kind of ammunition elevator. Never mind. I'd imagine, though, it probably would, unless they manhandled it up like they would have done with other ships. Yes, I am. Why? Oh, 
Nah, we'll be fine. It's perfectly fine, I assure you. Oh, well, we're screwed, actually. I'm just going to open this and let the water just flood out. Let me through your bloody gate. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to just close this. Murdoch, I'd abandon ship if I were you. We're going to have to go out through the turret. That's the only area I think that's still above water. Marduth! Through here, quick! Quick! Wow, the turret and the stack are all that's left. So it sank pretty much level. <laughs> oh no, it's going bow down. Actually, that's actually surprising. It's wait. Wait, what the heck? I flooded it at the stern, and now it's going down to the bow. How is that even possible? Oh, well, I don't even want to know, but that's actually really cool. Yep, there it goes. There goes the monitor. Oh, there's the lifeboats. Let's see. Well, there's one lifeboat freed. I don't think the other one's coming up, though. It looks like it's still trapped in the davit. That's always something eerie to see, just especially with a warship. Because I don't, I remember, I don't think, I, and there wasn't a lot of guys that made it out. In fact, they found human remains inside the turret when they after they had raised it, and those guys were buried. I don't know. I think they were buried in Arlington. I could be mistaken if they. I don't know if they were buried in Arlington or wherever they got the turret house. I don't remember. All right, I'm going to take this sucker back. All right. Time to bring out the CSS Virginia, a.k.a. the Merrimack. Because they basically built the Virginia or by using the burned hull of the Merrimack, actually. I mean, if you guys actually want to get a proper information about both warships and the Hunley, there's documentaries about both of them, all three of them on YouTube. They do a better job of explaining the stories of all three ships than I can tell. They basically tell the story better than I can because I'm not as smart. <laughs> Here's the Merrimack. Mm. Mm. 
Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and make some alterations regarding the ship. Oops. Oops. Yeah, I'm basically making it to where... I'm basically going to do this so that the thing will sink. I'm basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm basically what I'm doing here is making it so that there'll be a way for water to flood in through the entire ship. What is I'm basically I'm making this so I can actually sink the thing. Oh, and you can see the uh, engine model here. <laughs> huh. I've been debating on how I want to sink this thing. Let's see. Let's see, I basically am just trying to debate on how I should sink this ship. You can see all the mag powder magazines, though. So there's the engines. They're all the way up in... F oh, that's the back. Never mind. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find where I can sink this thing, because I want to put a hatch in. You know what? Screw it. I'll just... There we go. Since this is not even visible, I don't care about painting it. I just want to make it so I can sink the thing. Now to screw around with even more stuff. Yes. All right. Now we need this to go. Alright, I'm only doing this for my own, for the what I want to use it for at this point, so I don't think it'll be too much of a problem.
Yeah, I'm basically sabotaging the ship. I think what I'm going to do is make it so that that one compartment floods this one because it already does have a good chunk of weight in it and I'll just lay it there be and I've made it already so that this will then flood up here and then there's where the water will flood the rest of the ship interior wise well as far as this compartment's concerned and then up here well, you'll see what happens. I... <laughs> There's a hatch <laughs> underneath these beds. What were they thinking? Mate, what were you thinking? This is not... No, no. This must be the officer's quarters. The cannon deck will flood on its own, so that's fine. This doesn't need to be worried about because I've already got the flooding mechanism taken care of here. I, I can just open the hatch and that'll be that. Okay, engine room already set to basically screw itself over because I've got a hole right there. But just in case, I've got to poke a hole somewhere. Don't worry about the hole, it's fine. It's just it's just there to help ex the exhaust. Oh, I just realized I could make the ship flood through the boilers here. I just thought of that. Let me let me do this. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm basically, what I'm doing is basically what I'm going to be doing in the beginning anyhow. So I'm going to be, what I'm basically trying to do here is I'm taking out essentially whole plates and putting in hatches in their place. I'm doing this so I can control how this thing will sink. I want to make these, I don't want them all to open at once. So I'm going to have a little board set so these will op can be opened individually. Mm. Hold on. Like, these two hatches here, those are meant to op be opened simultaneously. The ones further back, I'm going to put buttons in place. That way... I can control the sinking. Keep in mind, I don't need to put hatches up here because this will flood on its own. Or up here because then it'll flood that deck through the door. It's mainly underneath everything. That's where I want to flood. This already has a hole, which is right there. There's a hatch in place there. But... I'm tempted to put in a bulkhead, and that's exactly what I'm going to do right here.
Now the reason I'm doing this is to try and slow the flooding. There we go. Now back here, it's just, you know, straight up. It's fine. And this is stuff that's not really going to be seen by anybody unless you were to go into photo mode and look at everything thing I've done, which I don't think anyone would want to deal with. There we go. So there's the holes in there. So now this area will flood. Take back what I just said because that's a complete screw up. Okay, there we go. There's that. There's a hole poked in there. So now I can pick. Now I go in and erase this and plunk another hatch. Now the buttons for the back ones, there's going to be buttons in the engine room. That's where these sync buttons are going to be. For these aft hatches, they are going to be in the engine room, all of them. They'll say, oh, hatch so-and-so, so-and-so number, that sort of thing. So currently there's one, two, three, four, five hatches. Keep that number in mind because these two, remember, are going to be opened up simultaneously. So I'm going to go in and get my button, which is right here. I'm going to go and paint it, by the way, so it's the same. And I'm going to just put it, like, say, I don't know, right, probably right here. Why not, right? <laughs> I'm probably going to put something, considering this was a southern ship, I'm probably going to have to come up with something like Southern Revenge or something. I'll probably think of something, but I'm not going to let you guys see it. I want you all to see it for yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll be right back. Let's see here. What can I come up with? I just got the perfect knife. Here. There we go. Perfect. Now to logic it all up.
All right, now where's the batteries? Let's see, power. Let's see, boom, boom, and boom. There we go. Huh, there's a button. All right, so there's that. That's now all wired. Now let me just check to be sure. There we go, so now it's wired to the button. Now that's going to control those hatches. I think that button is one I accidentally placed. Let me get rid of it. There we go. Now then, below decks. I've got all these here. These five hatches in the back. Oh man, that's the most common one I have that you people see of Titanic. I swear. Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. Now, I'm probably going to have these in the engine room, like I said. Now, again, I'm very tempted to do... To, uh... For the sake of my own sanity, I'm... Exactly. And I'm not going to let you see the rest of the surprise. Because that's my job. Sorry, boy. Control, there we go. Shut up. It's like, get out of here, you twit. <laughs> it's like, how to make fun of it? Call it twit. <laughs> it's like, so how do we make fun of it? Call it twit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to completely close that gap in the engine room off. There we go. So, like the areas I already showed, I'm going to probably build a bulkhead here. Mainly because I want to section this off. It's a huge space. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take this. What was that? I don't know what that was. Nice, I can't join you because the game nearly crashes me every dang time. Alright, so don't mind the wall. It's not going to be pretty. It's not exactly meant to be pretty, to be honest with you, so...
Yeah. Keep in mind, this is everything I'm doing just to get the thing to sink, okay? No, this is some modification work I'm doing on the mo Merrimack. I'm modifying it so I that I can sink it. I'm modifying it so that there's more bulkheads and hatches and whatnot. Basically, so I can sink it however I want it. So I have this area now completely separated from the rest of the ship. So now this is going to be where it gets interesting. Because now I've got to put a door in. I've got to put two doors in, actually. That's the thing, once you make one modification, then you've got to modify the whole thing before you're re it's ready. So this is going to take me a bit. <laughs> Alright. So if I look, like lean into the camera, that's because i got to see what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, do they not have a door? There we go. There be doors on this boat. Now keep in mind, this is literally going to be right in the stairwell, so it's going to have, there's going to have to be another door so you can actually get to the actual engine room. And it's going to be looking like an honest-to-God monstrosity, so just be prepared. All right, there we go. Now I can add in, since this is now going to be the other bulkhead, the other side of it, I can go in... And do that. Let me get rid of that. So there we go. Now I can do this. Dang it. go now I can put the button in now this is gonna be a two-sided toggle button and it's gonna be like that for both doorways there we go there's a two-sided toggle which is what I need and they're gonna be separate from each other so that's the other thing for electricity thank god there's only one battery that I have to deal with alright what I'm also gonna do now that I'm while I'm in here is I'm gonna link these hatches together
Okay, there we go. Now let's see, that's all of those. Okay, yeah, that's right, okay. Because this will all continue to flood. It doesn't matter what you do. All right, so now go back into this. You'll find where I fit put the uh, sync button and what I called it. You'll you'll understand soon enough. It's pretty appropriate considering what happened to the real ship. All right. So that's now connected to the battery. Those are all connected. Now I just need to put another doorway in. There we go. Now I can... Because that doorway is meant to access all of this. Here, let me go back in to show you. Okay, so here's the doorway. That's leading into here. That will be so... Actually, now that I say this, yeah, that, that's too freaking close. Also, I need to move that. that that's driving me nuts. There we go. Besides, that's a lot more realistic anyhow. You'd have to be lowered to the ground anyway so you can actually see what the heck you're doing. Okay, I just had a bit of a game change here. I'm going to move the door back. So now I'm going to take all of this out. Because I'm not going to change the entire bulkhead. I'm going to just move it. There we go. Now let's see. Because the reason I'm moving it now is because there's only like one block of space in between the stairs. Now then. There we go. That's a lot more manageable. I'm sorry, not sorry at all. I'm just kidding. Okay, there we go. So there's that fixed. Now, since I'm in here, I can already tell you, you guys can already guess what I'm going to be doing. Yep, I'm going to have to paint all this.
This isn't my ship. I didn't build it. I'm only modifying, doing all this modification so it can, so I can actually do a proper sinking with it. That's the thing. I'm reason I'm modifying it so much. As you can see, I had to move the bulkhead back one so I could actually put the button and door in to where you could actually walk through here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna logic all this up again. There we go, that's now got power. That's logic. At the door, there we go, perfect. Why the hell not, excuse my language. All right, there's that done. You know what? Screw it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the water. Really? Stop. I'm going to make it so that, yes, this compartment will flood, but I'm also going to make it so that when the one below it floods, I'm going to make it so that the water will flood out through the boilers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that for a reason. You'll see why. There we go. Perfect. I've got the perfect way for the engine room to flood now. Urge her Oberst, welcome to the stream. All right, now let's see. I've got to get that other hat button in. Oh, yes. Now, this is where I'm going to put in another button. Now this is going to be the one where it controls all of the other hatches. Problem is, you've got to do this. I'm sorry man, I don't speak German so don't, so forgive me if I slander the name, I do not intend to. All right, so there's that. Now, control, connect. Now, these hatches are all meant to open when you're in the engine room. That's after allowing all of this to flood. But that's after you allow all this to have a substantial amount of flooding occur. That's the thing. Now the question is, will it all work? Because I needed to still power that button up. I just realized, damn it. Excuse my language. All right. Uh, 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 this is basically how you uh, completely screw up the ship. There we go. Right. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got to do this again. I'll just name this. I don't know what I'll name it. Ah. <laughs> Ballast, maybe? 
There we go. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. All right, save. Let's save this monstrosity. There we go. Sorry. Sometimes my head itches that bad. And no, it ain't lice. There's no lice. Oh, I recognize you now, Herb. I'm sorry, man. Is it Herb? Oh my god. Let me... I'm going to have to probably put that in Google Translate so I don't slander the name. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to have to just go into two separate rooms to start the engines. Alright. Oh! That actually is interesting. That looks like that turns. But yeah, is it Herobust? 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 I, 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 I really don't know. I'm going to just stop before I completely screw up the name to where it's unintelligible to me. All right, let's just get on with this. I think I've screwed the monitor over enough, I think. I think I've screwed the Confederate ship Merrimack up enough. I think it'll to where it'll work. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, and ironically, this is coming from the southern from a southerner who lives in Georgia, one of the former Confederate states, mind you. So this is going to be fun. I love it when I get to screw up my with ships. It's fun. Just go through the cannon hatches. Yeah, murder. This is one case where it's better to just fall through the ship's own cannon hatches. Hang on. Wait a minute. Did I accidentally poke a hole in the ship? Let me check for flooding. Huh, no. It's watertight somehow. Oh, it's all the weight up front. Oh, well, that does not help, does it? <laughs> I'm almost tempted to take some weight off of this thing now. Well, if anybody on board can find the bridge, that would actually be very helpful because I don't know how to get to it. I think it said these cannons worked somehow. I don't know how they would. Because you got of how clunky Stormworks' his own uh, thing is. But I know they turn. They don't know if they fire, but they do turn. I'm curious, how does this work? <gasps> Yo! Oh, all right. All right. It's not watertight, but who the heck cares? That's actually impressive. I like that. So we have the main cannon deck here. Which I'm pretty sure if I'm right on the real ship. Yeah, on the real ship, there would have been a lot more guns, considering they had one in the front, and then all of these on the sides, and I'd imagine they'd even have one. Yeah. 
you can see they have the cannons so they move. That's actually impressive. I think this one, if I recall, raises the actual barrel. That raises it. All right, Herb, see ya. I think this one turns it. Uh, excuse me. Dinner! Man the guns! Dessert! Now you can see this is what they do. I'd imagine these cannons would have to be moved. Oh, Jesus. It's hard to see, but you can see the gun. I'm raising it. I'm going to hit it, keep going until it damages the ship somehow. Because <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> I think I've damaged it enough. There we go, totally off of range. But you can see the gun lowers, raises and lowers very slowly. No. I might leave Jesse to do that. <sighs> Besides, he's got a lot, he has a lot more fun with these boats anyways. I can't do this sort of stuff because I don't have a good recording software. And I can't do any editing when then I do do videos because, well, let's face it. Thing... This computer is just bad. Right, I'm going to head below the decks and get to the engine room because that's what I do here. Da -da 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 -da. Ah! Dies from getting his head crushed. <laughs> oh my god, so... There's where the engine room would have been. Now, this on the actual ship is open, but of course, as you can see, I closed it off. Right then, so we've got this upper deck area here. This is where all the crew and officers would be. I will. Oh, we have a library. That's neat with all the books. Got food stores, we've got oh a flooded cabin, that's totally normal. There's a custom door too, that's actually interesting. We have uh whatever this is. Oh a chart table. Alright. Well, it's not flooded. I know that, because, but it's a glitch. It's a bug. Wait. Meredith, what do you mean? Is there water coming in? Wait, Meredith, are we sinking it, Doc? Oh, Jesus. Hold on, Murdiff. I'm taking the boat back to the workshop. Murdiff, get out of the ship real quick. I'm going to be getting... Murdiff, can you get off the ship? Because I'm going to take 
this thing back and start removing some weight. The bow should not be underwater. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, that didn't look good. That didn't sound good. I think you put enough weight in this thing. Jesus. Put any more, wouldn't be able to bloody move. I mean, look at this. He's got a ballast thing. There should not be. Something tells me this was rushed. And the way the ballast was put in alone tells me enough. That, oh yes, that and the fact that the thing is so heavy at the bow. Well, that is impressive, though, because now we have the right stuff we needed to build ships of this caliber. There we go, perfect. That should be just fine. <laughs> All right, let's see here now. Sorry about my sinuses, y'all. How much you want to bet that I probably just screwed up some major part of the ballasting in the ship to where it just does not float now? <laughs> let's see, I bet it's now gonna to be too heavy in the stern. Let's see. I also should have probably put a ladder on. Oh well, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's normal. It is the normal, uh, no? Oh, well that doesn't sound too good. It's dying. <laughs> it disappears. Oh, Jesus! Shut the door! Shut the door! It's flooding! They're not oh, windows. Those are actually, um, gun ports. You can turn the guns that are at midship and they can go... And they can be moved. I showed that before I returned the ship to workbench.
By the way, take note, all this is going to flood. This deck goes under. Here's the where you can see all the stuff I did. Right, now let's take ourselves a ship out. Let's take a ship out to sea, eh? Oh, and take note of that. It's spinning. It's actually spinning right now. It's a steam valve. That's actually impressive. I like that. I want to be I'll be the one to control the sinking because honestly the thing's is that hang on, is the bow still underwater? Let me go into photo mode, because now I'm gonna have to probably do more tweaking to the ship. Uh, it's kind of, but it's better than nothing. Oh my gosh, I mean what the hell, it's better than nothing. It wasn't as bad as it was before. Especially since I removed all that weight. Yes, it's fine! It's fine! Oh, look, look! Oh, Jesus! Why is this flooding? What the hell? Wait a minute. I was not expecting that. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Fuel tanks. Oh. Hold on. I... Oh, I punctured the fuel tank. <laughs> so that explains it. Hold on. Get out of the ship real quick, Murdith. I think I found the problem as to why it's so low in the water. I must have accidentally punched a hole in the fuel tank. <laughs> well, that was an idiotic move on my part. <laughs> Question is, is this actually the fuel tank? Oh, let me check. Let me check this. That might actually help out a bunch. Hard horse. What is this? Is this the... F I don't understand. Is this the fuel tank? Or is this? Oh, shoot. I think this is the ship's fuel tank. <laughs> oh, no. Let me. I'm going to need to make some adjustments on this now. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to build. Yeah, I'm going to just go and. All right. 
I'm going to make there be enough fuel for us to actually get out a good distance if this is the fuel tank. Let me see, is this a fluid spawner? No. Fluid meter. That's a fluid meter. Okay. So yeah, that is the fuel tank. Well, that's just fantastic. Alright, well how do I copy and paste this stuff over? Uh-oh. What the? <laughs> Great! Well, sha la 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 Well, sha la 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 What I'm going to do... I would if I could, man. I hope that's... Why? Did some idiot actually build... Is someone stupid enough to build that thing on Stormworks? Like, I'm, I'm very tempted to ask. Did someone actually build that on Stormworks? Yeah, I'm moving the fluid meter so it's in between. There we go. I forget, what was the thing that merged it? There we go. There we go. Now I can build the fuel tank properly. <laughs> sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. So sorry, y'all. May, there's only so much you can do, though. Well, I did not realize. Well, I really did not realize at all that this was the ship's fuel tank. That's now going to change. Because I've now walled that off, so there should not be any other wall fuel in here. Unless there's this. I don't know what this is. Ah, so that's where you can put fluid in. So that's the refuel. Yeah, we're just going to remove that. That's ter that's that's fine. We're just going to remove that. Yeah, we're just going to remove those cuz that's totally what we do here. There we go. Yeah, we don't need any refuel. We don't need any refuel. We don't need any refuel at all. What did? What did? Ah, fluid spawner. Okay. Now then.
There we go. Now merge. Da, 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 da. There we go. Perfect. That explains why I had water shooting up out of... Well, these engine oil shooting up out of the boilers. Which technically would have made the thing explode. Because all that fuel would have shot out in a ball of fire. <laughs> oh, that would have been fun to see. Oh, sorry about the glare. Of course, the sun's right overhead. I need blackout curtains. That's what I need. Oh, well. <sighs> Wait, my profile picture? No, that's from God knows how long ago. All right, now let's, let me try save CSS Virginia. Now I'm going to remove a little more weight in the bow, not a little bit to offset what may be a bow down list which is probably going to be caused by the fuel. So, yeah, what's the... Wait, wait, are these pumps? Huh. Wait a minute, are those pumps? Hold on, now. <laughs> huh. Oh, he's got build pumps up here. That's not going to help. All right, now let's try this, try this, try this. Right, after an hour, after two hours, we finally might have a ship we can sail and sink at will, if we wish, if we so desire. Like, I don't know how to do it. Oh, shut up. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Bart, basically... <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Ah, yes, I know that PDR. How are you? <laughs> he disappears into the bottom of the. What the? Ah, I am your father. Nothing. I am your father's brother's cousin's former roommate. What does that make us? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. So I bet if... How much you guys want to bet that when I open the door, water's just... In the boiler, water's just going to shoot out. I think, huh? Place your bets, because here we go. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's see. I'm gonna screw it. I need to check just to be sure. Ah, it's dry. Perfect. There's the flu fuel tank. Now let's see if this thing will still even move despite the insanity. Hey! Oh crap. I just realized. 
I literally just realized that I forgot to poke a new hole in the uh, in the boat right here. Well then, I'm an idiot. Hold on one second. Um. Hey, Meredith, can you get off for a minute? I gotta get that hole punched into the ship. Thank you. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to just go all out. Let's just see. Why the hell not? I don't have anything else better to do today. Have it up. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Eep. That's there. That's there. Okay, where is the thing? There we go. Alright, I need to get some of these because why the hell not? Yada, yada, yada. You guys get the rest. I can't speak. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I'm already crazy. Mate, I'm crazy enough as it is. Yes. Joey is back 2000. Not much, man. Where did you get the 2000 from? Yours truly. Right. Now we might be ready. Sorry it took two hours, but that's how long it takes me sometimes to modify one ship. <sighs> Wait, Stormworks Gamer, wait, murder. If you mean the throttle doesn't work off. Oh, well then, I think it's because I have to start everything up downstairs. We're the chain of memes. On the plus side, though, it looks a lot lighter. <laughs> <gasps> Again. Hello, little child. What are you? Oh. I'm back. I'm here still. What do y'all want? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Have I not done enough damage yet? Murdeth, wait for me. No, Murdeth, what have you done? Ha, ah, nice try, Murdeth. All right, Joey. No, Johnny, don't do it. I need to figure out how these little pumps work. Oh, I... I love it. He put it over there. You can tell he basic... I mean, this is a decent model. But he kind of rushed it. Because there's a hatch to that sells a button. Uh. Wait, the horn doesn't work? Oh my god. How many things did he not... Screw it. This boat ain't gonna move. If it ain't gonna move, I'm gonna use it. You're right, it's 1 p.m. The clock time says it. Right there, bottom right of the screen. Uh. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> Joey, I've dropped more bombs than you can think of. I'm gonna laugh if this is just due to like the battery being dead or something. <laughs> now let's try this, shall we? Yeah, it only took 2,000 years. I can tell we're moving. It only took a million years, too. Let me see. How fast are we even going? Ah, that's a decent clip. Not... Well, he says that, and the thing is actually moving at snail's pace. Why can't you drive any faster? We can walk faster than this. Oh shoot, I missed a lot. There's so much open space. That's just due to the clutch, it's fine. Take me back to the bay. Let's see how this thing handles in horrid weather. I'm sure it's just going to be fine. Nah, nah. I'm sure this will be fine. There's what could go wrong. Oh, yes. Everything. Rail fanning, Jesus! Is there any way I can fix this? Settings wise. Ugh, they need to have this to where machines like mine can actually run this game in a decent clip. See ya, yeah. Yeah. Get to the powder magazine. 
I wasn't putting the rain up or fog up, but okay. There's an issue. Oh, sh. Oh, sh. Well. We got ourselves an issue, boys. I've just made the ship to where it is screwed in more ways than one. <laughs> it's a zone system. Margilio. I what the I'm stuck. Why can I not move? Okay, there we go, never mind. Joey, I can't. My computer would commit suicide because of how much that sucker would use. How far away are we from shore? Let me check. Oh, we're a decent ways out, actually. I'm amazed. We need to be in deeper water, though, and I can't see because of the fog. Oops. Meredith, what's going on? Oh dear! <laughs> Meredith, I'd get out of there! I'd get out of there if I was you! Yeah, Meredith. I would get out of there. Just, just, just saying. I would kind of get out of there right now.
Because I can. Because we're sinking also. Oops. He's doing all right. We're dead in the water. The high rail trucks, you mean, yes. Oh shit, well there goes the lifeboat, we're screwed. I can't bloody see! Oh my gosh.
and uh, I'll wait. I'm afraid of it. I never saw it. What about now? Can you hear me? Hello? The name is Bond. James Bond. All right, so how is this sinking? Really, a Meg? I didn't spawn any Megs. Are we even flooding at all? Because I'm starting to get rather annoyed at the fact that there's no water coming into the ship. Uh.
Oh well, the whole ship is screwed now. Well, we're screwed. The ship is screwed regardless. It's going to flood from the bottom up. I'm cutting engines. This might solve the problem. Oh, stop! I bet you guys the engine room is going to flood first. What the? <laughs> there we go. I just have the flood... I just have the flooding pumps open. That should be work just fine. That's an issue. <laughs> well, we're dead. <gasps> yes! Yes! Finally! We have flooding! We are now somewhat sinking. Yay! I love this. <laughs> so, these are ballast pumps. I see. I see. Stay back! Wait, where'd you get that piano? <laughs> hey, wait, where'd you get that piano? Dude! I stalled the <laughs> I stalled the engines. Oh shoot. Prop barely works. I'm not even gonna make the ship move. I'm just letting it I'm at this point just going to let it flood. I've got the boilers, the doors to the boiler open. So technically the water is going to come through the boiler to flood the engine room. It's going to flood out through the left side boiler. And if we're listing, which it looks like we are. Oh no, we're listing. So water is going to come in soon. It's going to start flooding the magazine. I could actually should already be close to doing that anyway. Let me just go hit the self-destruction feature. There we go. Perfect. Whoa! Whoa! What the? That's not funny. That scared me for a minute. Like, what the hell?
Wait, the water's flooding back? That is not what I planned on. No. I know it's in Rails Unlimited. It's premium, I bet, isn't it? I don't have Robux. Shoot! Yeah, that's an issue. destroyed y'all I don't understand what just happened <laughs> oh my god I don't even want to comprehend what that just was. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, Joey. I went back and combined all the footage. I'm starting to do that, right? I'm getting to where now I'm going to be a lot more. Oh my god. Well, there's a million and one things that are screwed all to pieces. How, how is the door? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Oh, 
Murdeth, I'd abandon ship now. There's nothing more we can do. Well, at this point, I don't think I have to worry about the scuttle system anymore. It's screwed up enough to where it'll sink on its own. Because <laughs> it's already doing that. Oh my god, all this, that's a lot of damage. Oh, shoot. <gasps> the whole ship is screwed up. Yeah, it's time to go. It's officially time to go. Yeah, I think it is safe to say we are officially sinking because uh, <laughs> the whole ship is damaged. It's damaged in ways it shouldn't even be damaged. And it's... Disconnect that other lifeboat. That other lifeboat's causing the ship to glitch again. I can hear it. It's banging against the hull. Disconnect it. Get that other lifeboat. Disconnect it. To get it off. I mean, at this point, the ship is already sinking. There's nothing anyone can do at this point. And with how damaged it is... <laughs> No good. She's sinking. Yeah, we have other sh we have sharks out here too. <laughs> those aren't Megs, those are normal sharks. I have sharks engaged. <laughs> oh Jesus, what the heck is this? Wait, is that shark dead? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's see, how fast is the ship flooding below? Oh, no. There's water flooding this one area that's completely inaccessible. I can see it. It's visibly flooding. Well, I mean, as I say that, the whole freaking ship is flooding, so I think it's safe to say we're screwed in more ways than one. I love it. 
The engine room hasn't even flooded yet. Flooded yet. Don't worry, I've got it on film. You don't need to worry about that. I got the whole thing on film. I'd imagine the gun deck is completely underwater by this point. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gone. The Merrimack is dead. Dear God, Joey, please stop. Well, you know it's bad when the ironclad starts sinking. Oh, there goes the lifeboat again. I'm the king of nothing! Because that's all this thing is now, is nothing. <laughs> and that's it, it's gone. <laughs> that thing's gone now! <laughs> Now then, what next? Uh, why not? I haven't tested this. Oh, yes. I'll be right back. I'm going to get me something to eat.
All right. It's Meredith. Is Boris? No, I'm just kidding. We need more Russian memes. We need more Russian hard base, comrades. I'm not going to lie, it is pretty out there, but it's cold, from what I can recall. <clears throat> I see we have four people watching, like, y'all let me know who y'all are. Yeah, this I think is another paddle steamer that GB Danny built. I think, I don't remember if it is, so... You can actually see the paddle wheel there. Suddenly just gets caught underneath and dies. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that'd be exactly what happened. That's just like... Like, imagine that. Just like... Murder Humphrey, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the channel, too. Oh, wait, let's see. Am I going to have to steer? Oh, no. Hey. Oh, they have the compass in the back of the ship. Buddy, how does that... Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. But you have a uh, compass here in the back. Little flag thing there. Got some lifeboats. We got the bridge there. We got everything else here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joey. Sorry, man. All right, Meredith. Wait, how are you still in the game? Oh, wait, that's... Ne never mind. I don't even want to... No! Plus, sus, there goes Superman. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> when you have uh, Billy Mays. Plot twist, it's really Billy Mays. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Habitat. Descending into the bowels of the ship, we find uh, in the crew cabins, which are a rather, uh, which are rather in sparsive of detail, except the beds are hanging from the ceiling, which is totally normal. I know. We have the horn being blasted. We should be leaving soon. And oh my God. We've got a serious engine here, boys. <clears throat> That's a serious engine. Let's just go and blow up the way what? No, I'm just kidding. All right, this must be it. <clears throat> I'm tempted. I'm looking. I've got to see. Knowing GB Danny, there's got to be some kind of freaking... There's got to be some kind of sink mechanism here. Oh, there it goes! Look! <laughs> uh. 
That is impressive. I'd never be able to do this in Stormworks. That's a rocking beam engine that would be normally be used in a paddle steamer like this. That's amazing. If you were in survival, it would kill you too because you're dead. <laughs> Okay, now where's the sync button? There's got to be a sync button somewhere. There always is. Oh, this thing turns easily, that's for sure. Whoa, whoa! This thing's got some serious turnage on it. Meredith, I'll take over for a minute, all right? Meredith. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> What? I don't know what Jesse's doing. He's probably doing something that ain't relating to what we're doing. Oh my god! Well, this ship is officially dead. Yeah, with a bow down angle like that, there had to be some flooding. There's no doubt. What the? Ha! How is that open? How is that closed? <clears throat> oh. Oh, we have a little grand staircase here. <clears throat> well, I guess going down into the depths of the ship, we find grandeur in the stern. We have a little lounge slash bar. So this is meant to be, I guess, a ferry boat by the looks of things. Hmm. I thought there would have been a sink mech. Evidently not. We'll fix. I know how to fix this. I believe I can remedy this problem. <clears throat> Let me just go and open every door real quick. 
Yes. I probably let a good bit of water in. Yeah. Well, you'd think he'd have something. Unless this is not by GB Danny, but I'm getting it and I'm getting it confused. Aha, there it is. Shouldn't take very long. In this weather. Ship's running too hot. In this weather, we will not last long. <clears throat> Meredith, I'd get on to something quick. Meredith. Nothing, nothing, it's nothing. Murder, hit the throttle a little bit more. See if it goes up any higher. <clears throat> I'm referring to his username. Murdith, triple nine. I see we have five people online. Let me know who y'all are. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, Meredith, look at that smoke there, man. 
Oh shoot! Oh shoot! We got a major problem! Murdeth! Oh stop! We have a major problem! Oh sweet Jesus! We got fire! We got fire! And it's bad! It's really bad! No! We drove! We didn't drive to California! Murdith, we're flooding rapidly in here! Murder, that's it, abandoned ship. Abandoned ship, we're sinking rapidly. Screw it, and the ship's suffering. <laughs> I made it impossible to escape. You're gonna die. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Oh, by the way, the thing was made by GB Danny. Yeah, I was so I was right. Okay. Have that. There's another paddle steamer. I've got a lot of paddle steamers on this thing. I'd love to see the kind which has the rocking beam engine visible on the upper deck. That would be interesting to see. The one I'm about to spawn in is actually older than this one, by the if I'm not mistaken. I can't spawn that in. Eighteen twenty steam propeller ship is next. So remember, the server is not private; it's public. If you guys want to join, you can. By all means, you can join.
<sighs> what the? No, but I've wanted to. I missed it by two weeks in Cheyenne. I kid you not. When we got there, we missed it by literally two weeks. I'm in the paddle wheel. Help! Help! How do you... How do you even get on this thing? Oh, that's out. Okay. Never mind. It's a freighter, by the way. So, where is the O? Oh. <laughs> so, we got the upper deck here. It's nothing too fancy. You've got cargo holds. You've got the paddle wheel and you've got the boiler visible. So, right here beside it is your hatchway down. So let's go down. This is a very, very tiny steamer. It's not that big either. It's a very, like, a, you have to crouch just to get through the doors. So you've got like the little hold here. Huh. That's from the lifeboat. There's just damage there. So I don't know what these are unless they're these like beds or something. Or hammocks. Those are hammocks, I think. I'm not I didn't realize that. But yeah, the thing about this boat is it goes quick. When it sinks, it goes very quickly. I think that's the uh, firebox there. Yeah, because there's the other hold. I think here in the back is a tiny door. Oh yes, yeah, so we have the heater. Yeah, so there's, it, this is literally a teeny, teeny, tiny cargo ship. That's basically all it is. It's a cargo, it's a little freighter. That's literally all it is, it's a freighter. But, ain't nothing wrong with that. I bet you the scuttle is like right there, or right there where that, that entrance is, because you see there's the boiler. Alright, time to sink it. Let's see. Alright, now the fun part. Sinking it! The weather should alone should literally be enough because these holds, if I'm not mistaken, if they're not watertight, which if I'm right out, they're not. Technically, we're going to be in for something. Yeah, I'll be right back again.
Look right, what the hell has he done? Why? Nope, I'm not dealing with this. I'm sinking this thing long before then. <laughs> Stay the freak back. It's going to blow. I'd stand back here. What the hell? <laughs> Stop the engines! He's not going to... Dude, we're not going to be able to save it. There's nothing we can do. Abandon ship, Meredith. There's nothing we can do. What the? How did we? <laughs> How did we value the ship? Ah, oh, that's for the lifeboat. Crouch down. Avoid the flames.
No, let me out! Let me out! <laughs> hey Kevin we have a fire we have a major fire on board and we're currently sinking. Oops. Oops, I screwed over the boat. <laughs> oh god <laughs> It's like that's it I'm done <laughs> On the plus side, the fire is still burning. We didn't even make it that far. <laughs> that makes it funnier. We didn't even make it that far, man. All right, next up is that early propeller ship thing. Whatever it was. All right, let's see, where is it? Oh, well, it's got a sync button, that's obvious.
So is this, is this it? Is this all there is? No, there's just, there's no interior? Like, are, are you serious? Scratch what I said. We're not using this. If it doesn't have much of an interior, I'm not going to look at it. That's just how I am. But, we have a sub. Which I'm more than willing to use. U62. Go. This thing is detailed. Yes, what is it? Instead of Stormworks, it's Subworks. Oh, we have the deck gun here. Wait, does this thing fire? Hmm. I guess not. But you can see it's a German U-boat. So, that's interesting. Got another deck gun here. You see the periscope is there. That was a trick shot. Oh, I remember this sub. They must have made it advanced. Yes, yeah, so you have to engage all of this. Oh, he made this simple, Lafad. Okay, I've got to find the main breaker panels. They should be in the back. Because if I'm right, the battery compartment's back here. So that means... Yeah! You can ask him yourself, man.
What? I'm wanting to do Stormworks right now, man. This thing is quiet. Nice, Kevin. Listen, the Sam Short Lines parking lot's a good place to catch trains. That's unfortunate. Whoa, shoot. 
Welcome to Trippyville. I can't get the freaking... I can't get these to work. It's like... They won't respond. It's like they're not working. Because now all four engines are literally, in a sense, gasping for breath. Hug me! I'm blowing ballast. Oh shoot! And this boy, this is where if, if you want to sink the sub, that's exactly what this is. This is if you want to sink the submarine. This is where you should abandon ship at this point. I've screwed us over. Yay! <laughs> hit the pumps! You idiot, hit the pumps! What did you do?
All right, I'm gonna start saving the sub if that's even still technically possible. Thank you. Exactly, that's what I'm basing it off of, is U505. I remember, a lot of this guy, the creator's subs have this huge control panel. I would, that's what I wanted in the Georgian Flyer, was something like this. Exactly like this, actually. Oh, we have torpedoes. This is what they don't tell you at. This is what they don't want you doing. Oh, shit. Okay, the hull ballast is still draining. So the stern is the only area that I'm flooding. I want to sink the submarine, basically. What? Joey, 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 what do you want? What do you want from me? Everywhere else in the ship is pumped dry, so... That's because they're not engaged.
shutting diesel down I'm going to engage the electric motors How the... I bet if I disengage the... the I bet if I engage the pump... I'm going to go check the torpedo room. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, this is going to be stupid as hell. But that's what I like! Wait. <sighs> Did one of them actually go through? No, wait a minute. One of those torpedoes is gone. Did it actually get through the tube? I'm actually going to be stunned if that's what happened.
Evidently, thank God. In real life, this thing would have blown up the submarine. I kid you not. They need to just have an automated launch system in here, like the ramp, the little tracks that they have. Let me guess, I bet the whole sub is flooding now. What the? Underwater? How the f... Yeah, it's probably because they that ship is like worse than Titanic. The problem is, there's a thing here called exhaust gate control, and it won't work. There's nothing that'll let me work it. Alternate snorkeler valves, you've got intake snorkel, you've got exhaust snorkel, and they won't work. Nothing works. Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> Murder, if you try... Murdiff, try and get the engines running. I'm going to go in here and see what I can do.
Whoa, everything's like glitching. What the heck? I don't understand what's happening. I think the internet, I think I'm about to murder the internet. I do that to see if the thing even works. But I got bad news. We're sinking. That's it, abandon ship.
to the watcher. What's up? <laughs> I basically murdered him. How to get away with murder. Oh, wow. We're not even that deep. We didn't even go. We made it a very long way, actually. Having it. What, Joey? <laughs> what do you want, Joey? Um, I'm probably going to name here, alright? So, I'll, uh...